I'm Anil Kumar. We are exploring polar equations for a circle. The question here is identify and graph the equation r equals to minus 4 cosine theta. Now this equation r equals to minus 4 cosine theta is in the polar form and we are not very familiar with it but it does represent a circle. Uh, to, to see it clearly or to understand what we will do is we will convert it into rectangular form right so in terms of x and y and then we can generalize how such equations are related to circle right so we'll write rectangular equation for the given equation now to convert it into rectangular form we need to know few things that is how to write r and theta in terms of x and y so the translation is kind of like this x is equals to r cosine theta y is equals to r sine theta correct and r square equals to x square plus y square you need to know these things to convert this you may have to review completing squares also method of completing squares so if you know these things this is kind of easy i like you to you know just go through these topics so that it becomes familiar to you whatever i'm doing here so let's now begin by converting the given equation which is in polar form r equals to minus 4 cos theta as a rectangular equation that means in terms of x and y this is in terms of r and theta so it's polar form to do that we'll multiply by r on both the sides so we get minus 4r cos theta now this is r square and here we have minus 4 and we have r cosine theta right now we can easily write all these terms r and thetas in terms of x and y r square is x square plus y square so we substitute x square plus y square on the left side and for r cos theta we can write x so we get minus 4x bringing minus 4x to the left side gives us x square plus 4x plus y squared equals to 0. Now here we can have a perfect square by completing the squares right. x square plus 4x half of 4 is 2. So we'll add and subtract 2 square which is 4. Or what we can do is we can just add 2 square on both the sides. So we get x square plus 4x Plus, so at this stage we are adding 2 square we are adding 2 square on both the sides right so we are adding this on both the sides is that okay just to complete the squares now this is the completing the squares step which I was talking about right you may have to review this concept if you don't understand it now these three terms form a perfect square and it could be written as x plus 2 whole square right and we have plus y square equals to 2 square or let me write as 4 or 2 square correct now what does this remind you of x plus 2 whole square plus y square equals to 4 let me rewrite this equation here we have x plus 2 whole square plus y square equals to 4 as 2 square right so it means we are talking about a circle whose radius is 2 right and the center of the circle is center of the circle is at minus 2 0 is that okay and the radius is 2 units so that is this circle right so the radius is 2 units so what we see here is that the center has moved from the center of a circle translated two units to the left right so that is what has happened here so we could sketch this now this was a polar equation given to us so let us sketch it on a polar graph so polar graph has a pole here and the polar axis which points towards the right side now here we are talking about a circle which has a center at minus two right and the radius of the circle is two units 
So let us say this is minus 2 for us and the radius is 2 units. So the circle will be kind of like this. Right, so let me now shift the radius center at this point, which is at minus 2, right? So that becomes the graph for the given equation, correct? So as you see from here, any equation of that form actually gives us graph of a circle, right? So that is what we learn from this particular video. So in general, we can say that the polar equation in the form of, let me write here, r equals to a sine theta or r equals to a cosine theta will represent a circle, right? So, will represent a circle. So, you can actually try out converting these equations into rectangular form and then generalize how will the circle translate on a polar graph, correct? So, so the translation is based on the value of a. So, in this case, it was minus 4. It translated 2 units to left, correct? So, that is how we can actually generalize equation of a circle in polar form. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.